celebrating today, HB. I love it. Heather B, Tracy G, we celebrating. Let's First do time it. got on the show. I've been trying to get on the show for a couple of years now. It finally happened. It's here. Ever since she won the rap game, I've been telling my man JD, bring her to the show. Bring her to the show. We had to do it ourselves. Welcome her to the show, the one and only Mulatto, ladies and gentlemen. Woo-hoo! Big Lotto. Big Lotto. Yeah. What up? What's happening, Blake? Come on, man. I feel like we should have met a long time ago. I'm telling you, like, this so overdue, but it's all good. We here right now. Hey, you know what? Mm-hmm. And, and this is just the prelude. This is just the prelude. This is, you know, like when you go to the restaurant. So. You know, the first, you go to the fancy restaurants. They bring you out a bunch of stuff before the main event. This this this, this is the hors d'oeuvres right here. Welcome to the show. Good to <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you on. How many nicknames you got now? How many nicknames you got? Man, I, the people call me Moolah, Lotto, Big Lotto, Sue, Mulatto, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. They um, all work. They they all work. You like them, Tracy? Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I I find you to be somewhat of, um, I think, I, I look at you having been in this culture haven't been in its business for so long the culture and the business are two different things to me let let me separate that uh you already know but being in the business and i watching the moves you make and i and i listen to you talk and i I listen to how you how you think you're somewhat of an enigma one of the things i love about what you represent is the mindset i think this is a part of our evolution in the music business well when we were coming up we felt like we had to take whatever was being offered to us in order to get in the game. And then we'll mm-hmm. figure it we'll figure it out from there. Your mm-hmm. mindset is different. You got foresight. You 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 you're not taking all money. All money ain't good money. Where did you yeah. learn that how where did you learn that foundation? Who Word. who, who, who that's, instilled that's that in my you? Parents. That's my parents. Like my parents so my mama had me at fifteen. And she was a sophomore. My daddy was a senior. And when my mama graduated high school, they um, I was born in Columbia, Ohio. Mm-hmm. So when my mama graduated high school, I was I was about I think I was two years old by then. And they moved to Atlanta. No family here. Like you know what I'm saying? They just built it from the ground up. So my parents ain't always have it like that. And I, I watched them and I watched that hustle. And I watched you know my daddy put in overtime to make sure. You know, we, we end up how we end up. So mm-hmm. it's like my parents. I credit my parents with everything. You credit your parents. Now, did you, uh, what was your school career um, like? Did you did you finish high school? Yeah, so, you know, by the time the rap game took off, we were doing the rap game tour. We was, I was booking shows like crazy. So I had to get out of public um, school, and I was doing online private school, paying for my own school. On, on the tour bus, you know, doing, trying to squeeze in them assignments when I can just so I can graduate. You know what I'm saying? Wow. wow. You, 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 were, you were studying while you were on the tour bus? <laughs> but, wow. I remember trouble, like, you about to miss, you about to miss um, the deadline. I'm like, I'm doing a meeting greet right now. <laughs> 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 and then, Mulata, how did that impact your relationships? Because we've often heard how fame, it can either change um, the people surrounding the new um, celebrity status of someone, or it can change the person who has entered the celebrity status, or it can change both people, you know? Yeah. Because there are just different perks that come with the game that can create mm-hmm. a divide. Did you start seeing yeah. differences in the way your family and your friends moved or yourself? I like how you worded that, though, before I answer that, because people always think it's, it's only the artists that change, but it's also the people around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, of mm-hmm. course, you're going to change. you touching certain, you know, you touching some money you ain't never even seen before, and now you got it on on playtime money. You know what I'm saying? So you you do you do change, but it's, it's like it's like it's it's um it's gonna happen. You have to move different. But people also forget the part that the the people around you change. You know what I'm saying? That's not mm-hmm. always for the better. But I definitely um experienced that, and it's crazy because I I don't I don't regret that at all because I feel like at 21 I don't be with no BS like 
I already know what a fake person looked like, walked like, talked like, you know what I'm saying? People who got ulterior motives, all that, like, it, it put me up on game at a young age. So I don't, I don't regret going through none of those experiences, having to cut off day ones. I'm talking about pampers, like, day wow. one. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> For and, real. And, and how does one do that? Is that, like, are you a, like, all right, you know, let me fade into black type of person? Or is it, let's have a conversation? It, it all depends, like, who it is. Like, uh, I'm a Capricorn, so it ain't too hard to, to cut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah my mom is cold. a Capricorn. The caps are cold. <laughs> caps are cold. They're cold people. Very direct <laughs> folks. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Uh, man, uh, Mulatto is here. Congratulations on all the success. Um, the new project as well. You got some bangers on here. I see you went to the Bay and got, you got Saweetie on there. You know I'm from Oakland, Mulatto, so anytime Saweetie okay. or anybody. Yeah, come on. I'm from the town. You already know what it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> come on. I'm trying to tell you we were supposed to meet. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You know? Thank come you. on. How you like the Bay? You love the Bay? I do, I do, and I love, like, I love the people from the Bay. I don't know, it's like an energy y'all got. I don't know. You hear that, Heather? You hear that, Heather? No, uh, yeah, Mulatto, what's up? It's Heather. How you doing? Congratulations what's on everything. Up? And What's up, sis? Thank and um, I, I heard you say what was interesting is that you you said your um your mom had you at 15, your dad was 17. My parents mm-hmm. was was sixteen and seventeen, which is crazy when you when you grow up mm-hmm. and you have very young parents. But I would also say yeah. one of the benefits of having young parents is that it was very easy to talk to my parents. My mom was a Capricorn too, but it was very easy to talk to my parents, and it was fun growing up in a house with them because of the music. Like I, I always feel like it was an advantage with communication and music being in the house. What are some of the things you remember growing up listening to with your parents being so young? Did y'all listen to the yeah. same music? Like, what was it about? Um, I would say, no, nah, I would say it was pretty much the same because, like, my parents, they're young, but they got old souls, so it was still, mm. like, you know, that R&Bs on Sunday, clean up time. It was still all <laughs> <laughs> But my daddy was, like, a hip-hop head. Well, he was a hip-hop head, so, like, he loved in the way. Pop, PG, mm. and he all of it. Like his, his favorite artist of all time is, uh, well, artist with S is um, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Like he loves business. Wow. Bone Thugs and Harmony is his favorite? Oh, because well, oh, Ohio. Ohio. Oh, Ohio. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Ohio. Ohio. Okay. Uh, that's what's up. Who were, uh, like, if I, I, you know, the other thing I, I respect, you know, I'm a lyric dude, you know. If you, if you know anything about us and I just I just love the the appearance of the the, the woman MC in hip hop mm-hmm. right now. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I love how people are showing up. Sweetie, you, uh, uh, Meg, I can name a list, you know, Rhapsody, I could Cardi, yeah. I, I could just keep going, 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 going. And mm-hmm. um, I, you know, to me, I remember the first time I shared this story with you um, back in the 90s. You weren't quite here yet, mulatto. You weren't quite born. You were, you were, you were a vision <laughs> at that time. <laughs> they knew it. They knew something was coming. They just didn't know what it was, you know. Um, but um, I remember having Lauren Hill on the show, and she was with the group, the Fugees. I know you're familiar with who Lauren is, and and this was early in their careers. And I never put gender on um, artists and their out, artist output. It's just what do you bring into the table. You could be, it don't mm-hmm. matter what your genetics, uh, your XY chromosomes add up to. Uh, but <laughs> I, I'm curious to how competitive is the nature uh, for you around other women MCs? Are, are y'all, mm-hmm. you know, I know MCs that, you know, they don't want to lose a verse. You seem, you, yeah. you're a lyrical person. I listened to the album. You, yeah. you, I listened to all your bars. How competitive are you to be recognized as a top MC? You know, somebody like me, like, I ain't, I've been rapping since 10 years old, so this before it, it became a trend, this before, like, Nicki Minaj, when she came up, that I wanted to rap, you know what I'm saying? So this before it was, like, a wave or, like, a label behind the scenes telling you, oh, you got this many followers, this many um, interactions, we need you to be- become a rapper, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that put together industry stuff, this ain't that. Like, I, I'm super competitive because I love what I do. Like, I grew up 
and talent shows and getting picked up from school doing my homework in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Open uh, mics, like I came up different, so I'm super competitive, and that ain't mm. in a cocky way. That's that's in like a friendly competition. Like I'm super mm-hmm. competitive. I want the best. Okay, I like that. Round of applause for I like that. That's the that's the heart of a hyena. I like that. Super competitive. So 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 what's your what's your writing process? Do you does it all happen in the studio? Uh, let's say, um, um, matter of fact, I want to break down this one song. I'm gonna do something we call lyrical breakdown. Uh, we got a lot over here. I don't get it. What exactly? Don't you get breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. What the hell did you just say? It's the lyrical breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. On Sway in the morning. Uh, one of my favorite songs on on this project is No Hook. And uh, yeah. shit, No Hook is hard. I know T Grizzly did his No Hook, and it, and it had that kind of it, it got that yeah. kind of that feel. You know that mm-hmm. this is a song that ain't really a song. It ain't got no mm-hmm. hook. It ain't got no structure. Mm-hmm. This is just me mm-hmm. unloading. And to me, this song, if people wanted to know anything about you, this is one of the songs that really break it down. I'm going to go through the lyrics, and if you could just yeah. kind of break down what were you thinking uh, when you wrote yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, cool. First lyric, I got money and my own family started acting funny. I don't trust nobody. Keep it on me. How did the family act funny? Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's always crazy when you the first when you gonna be the first person in your family with real money. You know what I'm saying? So everybody looking for a handout. But the craziest part is is like where I can't cut nobody no slack is I was getting money at sixteen with people having a handout. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been financially free away from my parents since fifteen, sixteen years old. So it's crazy to see some people so comfortable relying on a or trying to rely on a on a kid essentially at the time uh-huh. mm. uh-huh. so, so you was... know i don't i don't, don't spare nobody it's, it's the people in my household but you know we have new cousins and and all <laughs> 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 new cousins <laughs> hell yeah yo she's spitting game that's facts no printer <laughs> New cousins. I swear they always told me that the top would be lonely. Two-year relationship. That nigga really owe me. Bitch, I want my time back. Bruises had to hide that. Mm-hmm. I thought I was pregnant to this day. I'm thanking God for that. All of this happened. Mm-hmm. You were in an abusive relationship. Yeah. Really. And, you know, it's so crazy because, like, when I dropped the song, people, it was, like, it was going up on, in my on my comments on Twitter and Instagram, like all the social media, they're like, well, we never knew this, we never knew this. But I was glad that I had got, you know, that ain't never the whole story, but, you know, a little bit of my life story off my chest because, like, people, they see the photo shoots and the makeup getting done, and, you know what I'm saying, they just think it's life is glamorous every day. So it's like it was cool to let them know I'm still human. I got regular life experiences to rap about for real, like. Uh, um. Yeah, and it's real. Fuck the rap game. Still happy I didn't sign that. No sleep when I land. Headed straight to the, to sound check. I know the story. The rap game. The the offer wasn't to your liking. It wasn't a favorable mm-hmm. thing for you. So you decided not to sign the record mm-hmm. deal with JD. Uh, mm-hmm. No hard no hard feelings between you and JD. It's just that that particular deal wasn't for your liking. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. And um, like I feel like. People, it's not, they not making up the hard feelings thing. It's like when I was young, I was in my feelings. I'm only 16, 17 years old at the time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in my feelings. I'm offended. You know what I'm saying? So there's interviews like out there where they could come up with a conception like, oh, it's bad blood between them. But it's not. You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm mature, I know how the industry go. I'm older. You know what I'm saying? So Mm -hmm. it's no bad blood. Growing pains. Mulatto. You know. (laughs) You know. Um. Um. And, and and that happens to all of us. I'm a skip. Right. I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, no. Actually, I'm not going to skip because I remember this story came out. Drop ten bands to be the case that I ain't do. How the fuck they booked me for some shit with no proof? Bitch, I ain't forgot how y'all was clowning, but it's cool. I'm a sue. <laughs> Get the last laugh on it when I'm through. So that was a case of you being mistaken for someone who did something. What happened with that? Man, okay, so 
I was actually in a situation where the police, Atlanta Police Department, they put out these, um, what, what is it called? It's a, a bolo. It's called a bolo. And it goes through all their systems, and it's be on the lookout for this person. So they don't have, like, the person's information, age, name, you know, anything like that. But they have a picture. So this man in Atlanta got robbed by this um, prostitute. And, like, he brought her back to the hotel, whatever. He leaves the hotel, and he come back. She gone, all his stuff gone, whatever. So the girl is light-skinned, you know, colorful wig on, tattoos, nails, lashes, whoop de whoop And basically, my lawyer tells me, at the, you know, I end up getting arrested for that, had to pay lawyer fees, go to court, mm. all that. Miss shows all that. But at the end, you know, I had a bomb lawyer, shout out to my lawyer, but she ended up finding everything out. What happened was the bolo, some somebody then seen the bolo and was like, yeah, that's my lotto. And, you know, boom, when you got a little pain, you should Google somebody's name. Mm-hmm. And then you popped up. Oh. But you know what's crazy about that, how much money you had to spend to uh, prove that Man. it, yep. <laughs> that it wasn't crazy. you. It, it opened my eyes. I'm like, dang, you know, when you experience something like that firsthand, it's like, wow, our justice system is really fucked up for real. Who was that Heather that can't always bring him up that came on the show because he got famous? Sean Kingston. Sean Kingston. Yep. Um, came on the show once, Mulatto, and, and told us that he uh-huh. keeps he keeps a, a fund together for false claims because once you become uh-huh. a celebrity, celebrity, you you people always gonna try to take money from you. So he has a mm-hmm. fund for false lawsuits just to the side because people, you know. I feel that though, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you about one more line uh, too. And all of this, and the, the, I want I want to bring this to our citizens. I'm open up the phone line. This young lady is on the rise. She got her head together. She's only 21. Not knocking wow. that. I'm not putting that down. I'm just saying as much experiences as you as you've had at, at 21. And this is outside mm-hmm. of the industry. You know, people spend two lifetimes trying to have these right. kind of experiences. Like you, mm-hmm. you got And she like, bigging up her parents too. Like, which is fly to me. Fuck the boat. Like, yo, that's dope. Congratulations to you, sis, for yeah. real. Okay. Um, oh, I, what more this? I love my OG, but he ain't showing me how to treat shit. I wonder why I let that dude treat me like a weak bitch. Shouldn't have made mm-hmm. the tape. He keep on threatening to leak it. I let a mm-hmm. dude break me. Now I'm picking up the pieces. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shit. Man. So you go so, crazy. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yo, the the bars are crazy how you broke that down. Uh so some somebody you feel took advantage of you, they got a there's a tape that hasn't leaked yet or has the tape leaked? You know like how X is no nah, no, nah, ain't nothing out right now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. People right. ready to jump on Google. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when you you the you everybody everybody ain't got an ex that's you know what I'm saying going up. So that's hard to deal with. I don't know, like especially when you the man, you know, all men can't see the woman get the bread, they you know, or they friends saying, Oh man, you you fumbled the bed, da 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 so you know they gon' they gon' harvest stuff when they when they in they feeling. Mm-hmm. So no no releases, um, no forthcoming releases either, right? No 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 movies. No <laughs> no, but you know the crazy thing, I got money now, so I'm I'm pretty sure them threats thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I ain't mad at it. Ain't I like how done, so. you could you could do something about the threats. Um, Mulatto is here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and um, <laughs> you got a great project. We're going to play No Hook, and I'm going to open up these phone lines. You can hang out for a second. Some people on the phone lines, Mulatto. Uh, Sway okay. in the morning. Okay, Sway in the morning, Shave 45, 888-742-3345. Give us a call. Oh, go hard. Yeah. Let's get it. I got money in my own family. Started acting funny. What's up, y'all? It's Mulatto, Big Lotto. I want to encourage y'all to vote. Especially my young people, you know what I'm saying? We want to make a change. We got to hit them polls. Make sure you register in your state to vote. I'm registered. I'm voting. I need y'all to go vote too. Period. Let's make this change. There it is. Mulatto voting. She's voting. Yeah, she is. It's your first time voting? This will be my first time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. That's crazy. Hey. Yep, this is her first that's time. 18th birthday. I had missed it because my birthday in December, so I missed it. 
but this, how, this time. Well, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was going to say, how exciting is this time for you, and why is it important to you that you use your right to vote? You know, I don't want to be one of them cap mm-hmm, on Instagram mm-hmm. talking that <laughs> and not really doing that. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, mm. I'm saying I'm I'm gonna I'm be honest. Like I don't come from a political background. Like my household, I don't know if it's because my parents are young, but like you know, what I'm saying I don't know. But I don't come from a political background like that. So it's mm. like I'm learning on Instagram and I'm seeing stuff that I don't like, and it's like I won't change. So there it is. You want to, I want to um. There's a man by the name of Mike Muse that does our show uh, with us every Monday and Wednesday. He breaks down politics. A lot of us didn't grow up learning about politics, the terminology. It's almost mm-hmm. as if it's, they make it so you don't learn it, so you won't get involved. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a, um ask you to follow Mike Muse. It's I, I am Mike M- Muse, M-U-S-E. I am Mike. Mike Muse, and he breaks things down in such a great way that uh-huh. it, it helps us all understand what we exactly what we're voting on and how that's going to impact yeah. our lives. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so I'm glad that you're getting involved. We got a lot of people on the line, so I'm gonna go to Shay on the line from Berkeley. What up, Shay? It's Shay, y'all. Hey, Shay. Hey, Shay. Shay. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, everyone. How you guys doing? Good morning. Grand, Grand Risings. You see what we got on the line with us? You want to talk to her? I do. I'm excited to talk to Mulatto because I've been supporting her since before. Well, I initially knew some of her music before um, the rap game, but I have been supporting her ever since then. I was like, yo, she going to be somebody. Watch what I say. Watch what I say. And nobody was believing me. And it's just an honor to speak to you, Mulatto. And um, just being a... a rapper myself I, you you inspire me even like Sway said earlier like being young it's not a, a a condemning comment it's more so just an inspirational thing like girl keep getting your bag and please keep eating out here <laughs> like, I gave certain <laughs> bags, like you are winning like <laughs> you are winning and I love every project no hook is one of my favorites like I listen to that repetitively every day oh it's just <laughs> That's what's up. So, I appreciate you, Jay. Okay. That's and I'm out good. here in the Bay, too, so when you come back, please, please put it up on the Yee. gram so I can okay. Yee! You hear that, Heather? <laughs> okay, there it is. Say, take care. You're a citizen. That's way in the morning. Blake on the line. Um, Lotto from Illinois. Blizzy Blake. Blake. What's up, Blizzy Blake? Blake, what up? Hey, what's going on? Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Hey, Mulatto. I got a question for you. What was it like working? What was, what was your experience like working with Gucci? Gucci, man, look, if, if you don't know me, you don't know that Gucci is my favorite rapper. So that was like, I'm talking about since a kid, Gucci been my favorite rapper. You know, I grew up in Atlanta. So meeting him and just being around him and just being able to, for him to just kick games to me, like Gucci's so humble and, he he's too humble to me. Like I feel like his influence on on this trap rap and this whole wave and just Atlanta period. Like Gucci is legendary to the culture. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was such a pleasure and it was like a real real goal of mine. And it's crazy that I got to do that so early in my career. Absolutely. Uh, well, congratulations, and uh, I wish you the best of luck Keep going forward. There it is, I appreciate man. that, Blake. All right, hey Blake, take care. You a citizen, Blake. Play in the morning, Blake. homie. My man Blake. Uh, let's go to Massachusetts. Uh, well, hold on. Actually, I, I missed that. Rhode Island, CC. What up, CC? Hey, CC. What's up? Hey, How hey. you doing? Grand Rises, it's a CC, yo. CC. What's up, Grand Rises, everybody? Hey, hey mama. <laughs> That's hey. power energy. I like her energy. Yes. Say hello to B- Big Lotto is on the line. We got Lotto on the line. I'm excited. I'm on the phone with Mulatto right now. Like, what is going on? <laughs> Like you are so fly. I love your videos. I love your your action, your vibe. You're so bomb. Like you're gonna do really good, girl. You're doing great. Aww. I can hear myself in the back. I sound like such a fan, but now nah, you deserve it, man. Good. <laughs> <laughs> need to find nah, I appreciate one of your videos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you say? You she need to put she need to put sway in the morning crew in her video. Is that what you said, Cece? <laughs> yeah, <we're> Cece. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. They, they they speaking. You don't speak a mulatto, CC. Thank you. Make sure you get the project. You're a citizen, okay? Let's sway in the morning. All right. no, I'm okay. too. You already know it. Uh, let's take one more. Go to Florida. Alonzo, Grand Rises. How you doing, Alonzo? Hey, Alonzo. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How we doing, Sway? How we doing, Tracy? Heather. Hey, right. we What's doing poppin', baby? We got we got a star Not on the so. show this morning. We in a good mood. Say hello to Mulatto. How you doing, Mulatto? How you doing? First time uh, trying to check you out. I think you just gained a fan today for sure. That's yeah. Cool. Let's get it. You got to go listen sure, to Queen of sure. the South. I'm sorry? You got to go listen to Queen of the South. I will. Mm-hmm. That's your starter you pack. I'm going to look at I'm going to get all the stuff you got on Apple Music. I'm going to be bumping here at work. I'm going to have everybody sick of you by the end of the week. Trust okay, me. Get, it, uh, get it on Pandora, please, Alonzo. Thank you. Uh, you have a question for <laughs> Yeah, we're a Pandora station. Uh, yeah, I, just to, okay. I just wanted to uh, ask what our top five rappers were in the game today. Hmm. Top My five. My top five. Ooh. Yeah. Like, are the new people? Or just period? Uh, yeah, new. Just period. New or just period? period. You want just, just period, overall, who your top period. five of all time? Overall, top five. Mm-hmm. Uh, Weezy, 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 my, um, that's the best rapper to me. Weezy, I'm going to say Weezy, Eminem. I'm going to say uh, Weezy, Eminem, best rapper. I'm going to say Nicki. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say, um, ooh, okay, I'm going to say, a lot of all time. I love this though. Right? Because she about to say somebody, then she'll add another thing in. Wait a minute. Wait okay. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna so we... say pop and then Nas. Oh shit! Damn, Weezy, That's... Eminem, <laughs> Nicki, mm-hmm. Pac, and Nas. That's a great variety. That's a well balanced yeah. top five. That's my awesome. top five. Hmm. I like she it. She was in the house with all that heat. She, yeah, she man. She listened to a lot of stuff. So, you know, growing up, that's dope. Uh, Mulatto, uh, we, uh, I, I love this conversation we're having. And I want to encourage people to go get the project. If you haven't got it yet or listened to it or streamed it, uh, make sure you do. Mm-hmm. Queen of the South. She's billboard. Uh, she's billboard charting now. Heather B. It's different now. She's on the yeah. billboard charts now. So it's whole, it's whole, it's whole. It's different now, you know. And when you look at this album, you hear songs like "Pull Up" with Twenty One Savage, um, "In and Out" with the City Girls, which is a very, very, um, if you, <laughs> a very, uh, a, a very motivating song to jog to. In and Out is. How about that? Uh, <laughs> 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 in and out, yeah. yeah. Make sure you jog to that one. Um, and it's it's just a lot of great music on here. I want to say congratulations to you. Yes. And then one day we all gonna do this in person, hang out. <laughs> hey, but I'm glad we had this conversation. Look, yes. look, uh, we follow you online. We looking forward to meeting you in person. And I love that you be cooking, girl. Keep cooking. That's dope. No cab. No cab. What you Thank cooking? You. What's your what's your what's your what's your signature meal? My well, I'm vegetarian, so it's like it's gonna be all seafood. But my signature meal is probably some like you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to impress my man when he's coming over. I'm gonna make <laughs> salmon with some crab legs, mm-hmm. make potatoes, corn, or well, probably sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, and and some type of like asparagus, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it looked good. It looks really good, Sway. She know what she doing. I'm, I'm looking at her gram. She she got some dope ass food pics up there, like videos too. She's official. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. All right. Well, I love your business mind. I like your creative mind. I, I I like the fact that you your life at your life ambitions. I like what you're doing, Mulatto. Stay the course. Okay. It's all love. No doubt, love. We, we got you. And you a citizen. It's Sway in the morning, sis. Here she is. Mulatto, ladies and gentlemen. We got Celebrity Wire up next. Sway in the morning, shade four five. Ah, 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 ah.